everybody, it's Christy here with Christy's Craft Room. Welcome. Today we are making a shelf for my living room. I want a picture shelf to put photos on in the living room. What we are using is, these are four foot long. They are one by fours. I have two of these. And then I also have a one by two. We're using one of these. So what we're going to do is we are going to nail these together with a nail gun. Tim is here, he's gonna hang out, he's gonna um, help me out a little bit because it's just been a really long time since I've used a nail gun. So he's just here to just give me a little refresher, okay? We are also gonna use some white paint. I have the Rust-Oleum brand here. You can use any brand you want. This is just water-based white paint. It's a satin finish, blossom white is the color. I have some Zars brand wood filler. You can use any wood filler, or one wood putty. It doesn't really matter what brand. They, to me, they all pretty well work the same for this type of purpose, okay? I have a damp rag here. I have some little tongue depressors. You'll see what I'll be using those for a little bit later. Of course, I've got my safety glasses, and that's pretty much all we are going to need. I got these wood pieces from Menards. These were already pre-cut to four foot lengths. They were a little bit off, so we did just trim the end of a couple of them just so that they were all the same length and fit together well. You can go to Home Depot and get a longer length and have them cut it to the length that you want. We are doing these four foot because that's what's gonna work for our space, but if you want a longer shelf, you can do it exactly the same way, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we are going to attach our bottom to our back side. So the two larger pieces, the four inch pieces, are gonna be the back and the bottom of the shelf, and then the one by two is going to be on the front edge like that, all right? So Tim is gonna come in, he's gonna help. Like I said, it's been a while since I've used a nail gun. So he's gonna come, just be here, give me a hand, be an extra set of hands for me. We are using a nail gun, but you could use screws and a, um, a screw, screw gun and screws, or you could use just hammer nails. It's really up to you how you want to do it. And I may end up just going ahead without him because, y'all, I don't know where he is. I think I, I think I might remember though, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure our ends are flush together first. And then our first nail, we don't wanna go too close to the end. We wanna bring it in a little bit. We're gonna come in about an inch and a half. And then we are going to um, put our nail in. There is a safety on the tip of this that when you put down on your wood and you push it down, then you pull the trigger. If you pull the trigger, it should not work if it's not pushed down, okay? And you wanna make sure your, your, your nail gun stays straight up and down. You don't want it to be tilted, you know, to one side or the other, because then your nail's not gonna go in straight, okay? So we are going, we're gonna get started, because I don't know where he went. He's coming in and out, he's got the door open, T-bones hanging out behind me, we're just gonna go with it. I think he forgot he was helping me here. But I'm gonna go with it, here we go. First nail, without Tim. Here we go. Hopefully, oh wait, wait. Tim's here. Safety glasses. Remember the safety glasses, y'all. Oops, I can get them on one-handed without moving my board. Y'all, y'all, there we go, there we go. Got my glasses, safety glasses, safety first, safety first. Safety first. All right, so here we go. We're gonna put our first one in. You're not flush. What do you mean I'm not flush? You're not flush. I was flush. Just come in and tell me I'm not flush, y'all. You weren't. Came in just in time to tell me I was making a mistake. All right. All right. So we're going to continue as we go, just to continue to make sure our wood is flush. And we're going to go about every eight inches. About every eight inches, make sure it's flush. Make sure everything's lined up good. Straight up and down. It's just like a big, it's just like a big stapler, really. Just like a big old stapler. You can buy these um, nail guns battery operated as well. This one is hooked to a air compressor because 
It's just the one that we had. Tim used it for work for many, many years, and we just still have it. And we're using two inch nails is what we are using in that, ours. Huh? I've had that long gun longer than we've been married. He's had this gun longer than he's had me, y'all. <laughs> longer than gun. he's had me. All right, so we're just continuing down about every eight inches or so. Making sure our wood is lined up nice and flush each time. All right, and then we, when we get to our end, remember, same thing, just like the other end, we don't wanna go more than an inch and a half to the end, okay? We don't wanna get too close to the end because then our wood might split. Um, just want to keep it a little ways in. There we go. So now we've got, this is our bottom, this is our back. Turn it this way so you guys can see. This is our back piece sitting behind our bottom piece, okay? I wanted to have a nice wide shelf to be able to put photos on because I want to be able to put my photos on and stack them against each other and stagger them across. Now we're going to add our our front piece. So this piece here, the one by two, is gonna go right on the front here like this. So we're gonna line it up. Make sure it's nice and nice and straight, right where we want it. And then again, we're gonna come about an inch and a half in for our first nail. Just keep our nail gun straight up and down. And just pull the trigger. About eight inches, do the next one. Just like that. There's the air compressor kicking on. You guys can probably hear behind me. And just keep working your way down, adjusting your wood, making sure it's straight. The smaller, thinner pieces are more likely to try to warp on you. These like the one by two is more likely to try to get a little twisty and warp. So you might have to play with it a little bit and adjust it as you go. Kind of put it back into place where it needs to be. Put a couple more in here. take a little tongue depressor here and we're going to use that to spread some wood filler into all of our nail holes. You could use any brand you want. You really don't have to use this brand I'm using. I'm using the Zars Hatch Wood Filler. Um, neutral is the color that I'm using. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the putty on the end of my what's this called? Popsicle stick. On the end of my popsicle stick and then I'm just going to come along and I'm going to just Press it into each of the, the nail holes here. All right, so once I've got the front done, I could go along and do the back, but I'm not going to because that's gonna be against the wall. So I don't, I'm not worried about that. But if you have any gaps or spaces or any um, spots that you're not happy with, you could take this wood filler and you can fill in those spots. But this actually came together quite nicely. This would fit together very nicely. I don't have any gaps I'm worried about, so I'm not even gonna worry about that. So, once your wood filler dries, you're just gonna come back with a damp rag, and I'm just gonna go over it, and it's gonna remove any, it's gonna remove any loose extra 
bits of the wood filler that I don't need. And it's gonna leave me a nice smooth surface over those nail holes. You can see right here was one of our nail holes and it's, it's nice and smooth and it looks nice now. So when I paint over it, you're not gonna see a nail hole there anymore. Okay, next I'm going to paint my shelf. I'm gonna put a couple paint stir sticks underneath here just to raise it up off the table surface to give me a little bit of a gap there so that it's not laying flat on the, flat on the table. Oops. I did not need to stick that in there that far. Goodness gracious. What a mess. All right, so now I'm just going to, I'm just gonna paint it. You can use a roller, you could use a brush like I am. It's really up to you how you choose to paint it. I'm just gonna start with a thin coat and then I'll come back and do a second coat. I'd rather do two thin coats than to try to do one thick coat and end up with my paint dripping and running all over the place. Make sure I get my edges. All right guys, so I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do a second coat, and then we'll show you once we get it hung up on the walls inside. 